Karim Abdullah is here. He's an IT practitioner with Sprint. Karim and I first met down in New York City uh, uh, in April. Karim, welcome to the live cube. Uh, thanks, Dave. Good to be back. Yeah. What brought SVC to Sprint originally? What was the motivation? What was the driver there? Uh, strictly a cost and, and an end of life issue. We had an end of life uh, approaching on all of our existing storage arrays. So over the last three, three and a half to four years, we've gotten rid of over a hundred storage arrays simply by installing a virtualization platform and then redeploying or deploying newer platforms behind the virtualization. And as we roll the virtualization platform up, we roll the end of life devices off. We're reducing operations costs, uh, uh, managing some capital expense in lieu of some long-term high overhead. And are you able to do that migration non-disruptively? Today we are. Today we okay. are fully utilizing US SVC at lower cost and at no cost, whereas comparatively it, it would have been a very expensive uh, proposition a few years ago. Uh, in the early days of SVC, people would say, well, you're only going to put you know, you're sort of your crap locations behind the SVC. You're not going to put your tier one storage behind SVC, but you actually have a VMAX running behind your SVC. Is that correct? Yeah, our SVC installation now have four tiers of storage from tier zero to tier three, and tier zero is the new flash system. Whereas tier one is your traditional high-end DMX or VMAX. Tier two and three are your SATA and or your Clarion and or some XIV. So we've got four tiers of storage. And the, the whole SVC has reduced the number of interventions a person has to make to manage the storage. And that's what's make it uh, unbelievably easy in terms of being able to allocate and provision and, 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 uh, and uh, carve out storage based on performance needs, application needs, and tiering needs. So for us, for us, using flash system was really just dropping a block of storage as a new item or a new node within an SVC infrastructure. Now, do you do chargebacks at Sprint? We don't, but we're working on it. You are, okay. Do you do any kind of showback or? That's where we are now. We're trying to, to demonstrate where it is a showback for certain deployments as part of a budgetary uh, practice for, for cost of uh, a project. So obviously different tiers have different costs associated with yep. them. Do you see, we talked about this at uh, in New York, and, and, and I, I'm going to ask you again, because you're, you're, I think your answer caused you to rethink it. So yeah. do you see those tiers, those four tiers collapsing over time? Do you see them maintaining? Have you thought about that anymore? Maybe, maybe the four tiers reducing down to three from where we are today, but, but the, you know, having flash system replace tier one, I don't see it really uh, occurring near term. It may over uh, a period of time. And one of the reasons is the price point, right? So now we're looking at price point for iOS versus a price point for gig. I, I want to ask you about your uh, uh, SDN strategies uh, before I do. So we talked to Eric Eiberg about the 100 microsecond overhead yeah. in the flash systems mm -hmm. that uh, SVC injects. And, and I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a virtualization layer, so obviously there's overhead. Yeah. Um, was that a concern to you uh, prior to going SVC? I mean, obviously you're all in on SVC, but but uh, I presume the benefits outweigh that, but can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, the 100 millisecond was not such a big factor because we were going from an end of life comparison, right? You, you had one bit of comparison here that says you're extremely uh, uh, latent to something that was much more automatic and, 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 and had the ability to grow and, and move faster. So the latency introduced by the overhead in the SVC was not such a challenge. When you can go to a flash system based on a six to eight millisecond to a 200 microsecond, that's where you see real benefit of going behind SVC. So for the most part, you ignore that 100 millisecond just from the SVC overhead.